Thinking of getting a parrot? Wondering just how expensive they are? Watch this video to find out. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am David and today we're going to be exploring the topic of how expensive are parrots. I'm going to be looking at all the costs and variables when you're buying a parrot and all the stuff you need for them and to look after them effectively. I'm going to be putting loads of different prices on the screen so you can get a good idea and please do expect a lot of variability because we've got small parrots all the way through to large but I'm going to try and give you a picture of all the potential costs and maybe give you a total we should have a massive range depending on what sort of parrot you're going to go for. If you already have a parrot, a lot of these costs are going to be very familiar and if you are getting one then hopefully the breakdown of these costs will help you prepare effectively because there are quite a few costs involved and a lot of people will tell you probably the wrong information about these costs because a lot of the things that people cut corners on you really shouldn't be cutting corners on and when you think about it you're just making it harder for you and training your bird and bonding and enjoying life with them. Now the first thing you're going to want to think about when you do get a bird is the cost of the actual bird or parrot itself. Now the cost of this will vary wildly because there are so many different species of parrots available. You could be paying as little as £20 for a budgie all the way up to thousands of pounds for a macaw or a rare breed of macaw. So to put a cost range on it, that is it, 20 to £2,000. It all depends on what sort of parrot you want to get. And I do suggest you look, look into it very carefully if they're the right species for you and yourself, etc., and explore that very carefully. On top of this, even if you decide to rescue, there will be costs involved in that. Not all rescues will give you a parrot for free. In fact, many will ask for subscription fees, they will ask for initial costs or donations, and it's all gonna add up, so do, well, think very carefully and maybe even shop around to see where the best deal is. And also make sure that wherever you're getting your parrot from, they're either an ethical breeder, they're a reputable rescue, or someone you really can rely on and you know that that parrot's been given the best attention possible. The next consideration is going to be your parrot's house or their cage. And when you're thinking about this cage, it should be expensive. I'm really sorry if you're watching this video and thinking, I'm gonna say, yeah, that 20 pound cage, second hand cage that's falling apart, or that tiny box cage is acceptable. No, it's not, because that is effectively their bedroom and it needs to be as big as you can possibly make it. It's not somewhere you should cut corners on. However, while saying that, you can get cages that are cheaper that are perfectly adequate. These cages that we got from Yahi Tech are only about 100 to 150 pounds. And for the size you get and the reasonable quality of it, we're really impressed with them. In fact, we've actually added it to our Amazon store, so you can check out my Amazon store and find them there because we've literally replaced all of our cases with these over the Liberta Oregons, which would double the cost and half the size almost. So these are much better. But generally, if I had to put a figure on a cage, the minimum you should be looking at spending is about 100 pound. And that can range all the way up to 500, or if you're setting up aviaries, et cetera, into the thousands. But honestly, don't go cheap on the cage. Make sure it's big and spacious because this is going to be their home in your home and you want it to be as relaxed and happy as possible. You want them to be happy going in there, enjoying that space, having fun in there. It is their bedroom and you want loads of stuff in it. I'm not gonna say it again, there we go. It's just a hundred to 500 pound range for the cage. Don't cheap out on it. So next up, you're going to want toys and enrichment for your bird. This is the equivalent to their TVs, their consoles, their sports. You're going to want lots of shreddable toys and enrichment and fun things for them to do. That means lots of lovely natural perches. That means shreddable toys made out of balsa, yucca, maybe even some hardwood if you've got a larger parrot, foraging toys, all sorts of things. And this is all gonna add up for them because they need fun as well. And we can't just expect them to just sit there and do nothing because they're not ornaments. And the cost range on this does vary again. You could be paying as little as 50 quid for initial setup, 50 pounds, sorry, all the way up for 100 pounds. It can be quite expensive for this, especially if you want to do it right. But again, this is a big but here, you can save money in this area. One way you can save money is by making your own DIY toys. You can make them out of paper, out of cardboard. You can recycle egg cartons, provided they're safe. I know in America, sometimes they have plastic treatment on them. Over here, it's fine. Same with toilet rolls. There's all sorts of things you can do in a DIY way. If you would like some inspiration for that, I'll leave a card for a video now on DIY toys, because there are lots of cheap alternatives. Even something as simple as getting a bunch of fresh herbs and tying them up in a bundle. It's gonna cost you maybe a pound, and that's gonna keep them entertained for quite a while. So do bear in mind it's expensive to get toys for them, but there are ways to save money and still give them lots of fun and enrichment. The next thing you want to think about is food. You always need to feed your parrot. And if you watch my channel, you're going to know that I'm not gonna say all you should feed is pellets, all you should feed is seed. Extreme diets don't work, you know, you don't want all of one thing. 
you want a nice diverse diet and a diverse diet as a lot of people will try and lie to you about is not that expensive we're talking about vegetables we're talking about some fruit as well all sorts of different things and while it may take a little bit more effort it's much better for your parrot and you can still include a little bit of those pellets and seed because in moderation that's completely fine but you want a bit of everything in your parrot's diet and you can save money here you know if you're planning your weekly meals and you've got some vegetables involved see if any of them are parrots safe if they are you can chop up some of them and give them to your parrot as well and just portion it off if you're buying you can buy seeds and grains legumes all sorts of things in bulk from whole food supplies and make your own mixes so you don't have to buy expensive mixes elsewhere it is an area that does add up in cost because it's one that's cumulative and will be for the entire lifespan of your bird however there are ways you can save money here if i had to put a price on it We've got eight parrots, so I don't know if ours is going to be a very good um, indicator for it, but we spend a minimum of about 10 to 20 pounds a week on their food. And that doesn't sound like quite a lot, but it does add up on it. And again, you can save. So let's go with that figure, 10 to 20 pounds for food a week. The next thing is a very important one, and it's one where I'm really sad to say a lot of people cheap out on it, that is vet bills. Now, I'm sorry, if you don't think vet bills are essential, especially for small parrots, you suck. I'm saying it right out there. I'm sorry, but you shouldn't have them in that respect. I am pretty open-minded to people keeping parrots in different circumstances and situations, but this is a living creature. It needs treatment just like dogs and other animals. So please don't skimp on here. You need to have some money put aside for vet bills, even if it's just a little bit and you've got it, just so you can prepare that emergency. Something me and Sophie are doing, putting aside a little bit to prepare for it, something everyone can do. And I know people say there's no avian vets nearby, etc. I'm not going to go into that debate, but yeah, just in terms of cost, you should be prepared for it. Now, in the UK, vet bills can range from anything from £50 to £100 just for a consultation. Hopefully, most of the time, that's all you're going to need. It's going to be a consultation, a quick bit of meds, and they're going to be completely fine. However, sometimes those bills are going to crop up and they're going to be big, especially for big problems like major injuries, where other things are going to be done. And that can run into the thousands. Now, I know it's going to be difficult to prepare for them, and I'm not going to preach at you about having to put aside thousands of pounds all the time, but if you can just have that few hundred pounds put aside just so you can get your bird taken to the vet, looked at in those situations, it will put, it will just basically give you peace of mind that that's ready, and also ensure that your bird is better, well, better looked after. Added on to this cost as well, if you want to help a little bit, you can have some first aid supplies or a first aid kit available for your bird, which may help reduce these vet costs because you'll know what to do and you can help with these. And these are very minor things. Anything that's serious needs to go to the vet. I'll never ever advise against that. But having a first aid kit will cost a little bit as well, but we're talking about 10 to 20 pounds. And if you use it and are a bit educated on it, that can save you a bit of a hundred. Another important thing you always need is a travel carrier. Again, this isn't something that you should cheap out on. It makes life a lot easier if you need to take your bird out and about, just have some fun, get some sunlight, or if your bird needs to go to the vet, and especially if your train's going there, it's really useful. And this is about 50 to 100 pounds for a decent one. Uh, again, a lot of people don't really want to pay this, but it is really useful, and it can be a lot of fun for us as owners to take our birds out and about and have lots of fun out and about in, I've said that quite a lot, Just enjoy nature basically and it's also quite good for their health because if you can get some vitamin d and you can't move their cage outside it's a very easy way of doing it so again travel carrier 50 to 100 pound probably an essential cost now if i haven't put you off already here's the final category and that is extra supplies and when i'm talking about extra supplies we're talking about stuff like air purifiers if you've got powdery down dusty birds it's good for them it's good for us again i've got examples in my amazon store of one we use and we're really happy with so it's uh, by a brand called Lavoie. had to look at that to make sure i remembered um but we're talking about cleaning supplies you know like stuff that um you can use like f10 and poop off we're talking about maybe a harness if you want to harness train your bird we're talking about extra toys play stands all of this is an extra cost and it's very variable we could be talking about as little as maybe if you don't want to get the purifier and stuff maybe 20 pounds all the way through to the hundreds and again, it depends on the species of parrot you have and what you want to provide them, what you already have available, but the cost can be quite high and it's something to keep in mind. And again, be prepared for. Now we're reaching the end of this video, let's do a running total of the sort of cost you're going to be prepared for. So for the bird, we're talking about 20 to 2,000 pounds, depending on what species you pick. For the cage, 100 to 500 pounds. For toys and enrichment, about 100 pounds. For food, 10 to 20 pounds a week. For the vet, and I'm going to go for the minimum here, which is 50 to 100 pound, and then we've got our extras, which is five to 200 pound. So the total range is 
285 pounds to 2,900 pounds. That's a big range, but even if you look at lower end, that's still quite a big cost. We're talking about 285 pounds minimum, and that is not in really including the incidental costs that are gonna add up and all the extras. This is just basically a startup cost almost really. So this video isn't really about putting you off about it, it's about making people prepared. If you're prepared for these costs, you can suck them up, awesome. That's no problem. If you're not, maybe think about saving up a little bit. Maybe think about just taking your time and making the right decision about the right species and what you want to get out of your parrot and what you want to offer them as well. So dinner time is wrapping up. So we're going to have some very sleepy or noisy birds. Either one, I don't really want to interrupt either of those activities. So I'm gonna wrap this video up now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it useful and entertaining. If you have any comments or questions, happy to hear from you down below. But in the meantime, from me and some very snacky birds, take care and see you later.